Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today I wanted to talk about you know what to do when you're not meeting your language learning targets, and just a couple of other things to consider in this dynamic. So. You know, if you aren't doing it already, um, I really highly encourage you to, to set up a routine with language learning and, and long-term goals too, because ultimately those things are going to help you to have consistent progress, a target to aim for, and that's going to help you a lot in the long run. So definitely do that if you haven't already. But let's say you already have a, a nice consistent study routine, some goals set, and you know you're make, making those targets, right? Well, you know like what happens when you know, you miss that target for the week or you keep missing some of those goals. Well, I think that, you know, it's, it's okay, right? Because there's going to be weeks where, you know, life gets very busy. Maybe you're sick, something happens and you just don't meet that target for the day or for the week. And, you know, it's, it's probably not going to be the only time that that happens, right? You're probably going to miss it again. It might be two times in a row, whatever, right? Things happen. Um, you know, you can't necessarily expect 100% perfection, all the time, especially when life is just happening around you. Now, that being said, I think you need to be careful about you know missing that target on a consistent basis. And there's a couple of reasons why, right? So, so number one, like when you have a, a target, right? And, and and this is could even happen if you have very ambitious goals or targets for yourself. You know, when you miss that goal consistently, right? Um, you know, it's just week after week after week, you're not hitting that target you've set, you've kind of normalized it to be okay to not meet those language learning targets, right? And you might think, okay, I, I, have, I have ambitious targets, it's okay, I'm still making a ton of progress. Well, well, that might be the case, you know, you set those targets for a reason, and it just becomes more and more difficult to, you know, get to that, that, um, that, that target that you've set, because now it's okay to fail, right? Um, it, it, there's just no, um, it, it's whatever, right? It mentally, subconsciously, um, it, your, your brain is kind of justifying not meeting that target. And so in instances like that, I really think it's best to try to, you know, really get back on that routine as quickly as possible, you know, when that happens, because, you know, especially when you get off habits and you miss targets too, it becomes harder and harder uh, to get back to that level. So definitely, you know, um, it's okay to miss, but definitely try to um, really be consistent with meeting those targets, right? Like if you miss um, your target for the week, uh, definitely really try to make that effort in to, to make it happen the next week, just so that you're not in this kind of justification of failing your goals, right? And it doesn't have to be crazy authoritarian. You don't have to give yourself consequences for not meeting targets. It's just something to be aware of that, you know, when you're not consistent, um, it's just, it, you know, that pro that progress um, and that, that reason for meeting that target can just slowly drift away where, you know, that in, in a bad case scenario, you quit doing what you're doing or you're, you're just, the amount of gains that you're getting is just going to decrease very rapidly. So in instances where you, where you see yourself missing, definitely for at first, try to, to hit, hit that target again, get back into that consistency and, and make sure that you, know, you make it a priority to hit those targets. Now, that being said, there's gonna be instances too where maybe it actually is better to lower the, um, the target that you've set for yourself. And you know, I know there's a lot of different um, ideas out there. Some people say don't, don't lower targets. Um, you know, for your goals, you know, try to find and make, make it away. And, and, and while that's, that, that could be great and, and, and true, um, you know, I think that one thing to really value is that consistency in, in that routine aspect of things. Because, um, you know, while you might lower your target, um, you're going to get that target consistently. And, you know, you would be surprised to, to say that, uh, or to, to see that, you know, even just getting less time in, but being consistent about it every single week might make more, might make you more progress in the longer run versus being kind of sporadic with, you know, getting a ton in this week and then not that much the next week. So, you know, that consistency, you know, is, is in my opinion, sometimes underappreciated. So, you know, it might be worthwhile to think about lowering that target just a bit so that you're, you're constantly meeting it every single week. Now, that being said too, you know, it actually might not even be a bad thing to, to lower your targets because, you know, for some people they've set very ambitious goals and, you know, they don't think about how much effort and time actually goes into that. So like, for example, some people want to learn like three languages at the same time and, you know, 
in your head, it, it seems, oh, this is going to be no problem. But you know, the second that you're actually doing that goal and you're having to put in that time, you start to see, okay, this is what is required and, and it's a lot of effort. And so in some instances, you're going to be a little bit, cons you know, a little bit strained by the targets that you've set because they're a little bit too ambitious with what's going on in your life or whatever. So, you know, it, it, it might be okay to lower your goals, right? You have to be um, honest with yourself on whether or not is the target too, too much for what's going on right now or, and, and so, and therefore I just need to be a lot more consistent with reaching it or do I need to lower it to something that's more realistic where I'm going to have consistency. And you know, even if you do lower it, you can write, write as a backup. So there's, it's not like you've locked yourself out of that goal forever um, by, by adjusting it. So like I said, the, the two key components here are to definitely, if you're missing targets, make sure that you get back onto that habit and consistency as quickly as possible. And you know, the second thing is don't be afraid to adjust your goals, to look at them and, and to make sure that, you know, it makes sense, uh, you know, in, in terms of how much effort you're putting in and, and trying to get that consistency in that routine. So let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video. Take care.